We're live. We're live again. Part round two, <laughs> and uh, talking about today the spiral staircase of New Mexico. Yeah, Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's called uh, La, the Loreto um, Church, and uh, it's a big mystery. I'm gonna dedicate this mystery to my grandkids. They're okay. all nerdy out, and they love mysteries, so it goes for them, for my grandkids. Cool, cool. And so this is a spiral staircase, and why is it mysterious? What's so special about it? Well, what's special about Well, okay, so it started back in 1853. Um, they, were, uh, they sent seven nuns to uh, New Mexico to build a, a school for uh, ladies, okay? And they got there, and between all the work that needed to get done and everything, it took 20 years to get started, okay? But um, along with the school, uh, the bishop of the town commissioned to build a church. And the church was done in the um, motif of the era, which was Gothic, mm -hmm. and um, it was beautiful. The problem was that um, the architect that, you know, started everything, passed away. And he passed away before he could build a staircase to the choir loft. And the choir loft is 22 feet above, okay? It's, it's 22 feet high. Yeah. And so when that happened, the, the church basically was, you know, unfinished. Mm -hmm. So the sisters went out and looked for carpenters master carpenters to come in and everybody that came in said look if if we build a staircase um it's gonna eat part of the congregation area so you're gonna have a very small congregation for the church because the church was built in the gothic gothic type of theme it's very tall very narrow mm -hmm. and so uh, most of the people told them you need a ladder but and they were very afraid to, to use a ladder because in those days they had a, a complete outfit like the nuns wear, which is long robe, the cape, you know, the, um, uh, they have a head uh, set that, that goes with, I mean, it was yeah. it's complicated. And so it's a whole outfit. A whole outfit, and it's heavy. They had the, yeah, the crucifix and everything, yeah. and the, the belt, and so they were afraid. So then nobody could, you know, set the tone to build the staircase. And so what the sisters did is they started what's called a novena. And the novena is they pray for nine days. And then you sit back and wait for the good Lord to, to respond. So they started the novena. And at the end of the ninth day, lo and behold, there was a knock on the door. And when the sisters opened up, there was an old man outside with a mule and a carpenter's case, you know, uh, and he was a carpenter and he said, look, I hear that you're looking for someone to build the staircase. And they said, yes. So he says, okay, I, let me take a look. And he came, he analyzed everything like everybody else. And he says, I can do it. Hmm. No problem. The only thing that I ask, this uh, gentleman said, is that you let me work alone. I want to be alone while I'm putting this together. I don't want any interruptions. I just want to be in the church alone. And the sister said, okay. So 90 days went by, and the gentleman did the staircase, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's a masterpiece. And the sisters were very, very happy with uh, the work he did. But when they went to pay the gentleman, they couldn't find him. He had vanished. And they looked for him all over town. They spread the word amongst friends and so forth, and nobody could find him. They even went and put an ad in the newspaper, and they couldn't find him. Hmm. And so they were, you know, pretty much shocked. And so they even went to the local lumber yard and to find out how much money potentially they owed them. Um, and the lumber yard said, no, nobody's bought wood from us in, for, to that caliber. Uh, there's no open uh, yeah. bill. And this is in the 1800s. 1873. So to put context, um, there's your your horse and buggy back then. I think right. I think so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the, the Model oh, yeah, T yeah. was in the 
early 1900s. Right. So this was a time where it was weird for that this person just shows up with a mule and he's a carpenter and um, and you have mentioned that the wood was not from the area. Right. Which how did that person <clears throat> transport that wood? Right. Well, uh, it's unique in the sense well another thing that I want to mention is that the sisters were praying to St. Joseph. St. Joseph is the saint of carpenters. And then after the ninth day, there's that knock, and this old gentleman in a mule in a carpenter's case shows up. Okay, so absolutely. So what happens is that um, they have sent engineers and people to take a look at the staircase, and they don't know how it's actually built because the staircase is built with no screws, no nails, and no glue. Is built in the old-fashioned way of, you know... Interlocking. Interlocking. Another very interesting point about the staircase is that it has 33 steps. And that is extremely mm. symbolic because Jesus was 33 years old when he was crucified. And also the number 33 is very prominent for the Masons. Yes. Um yeah, I didn't know that, that the Masons, the number 33, was yes. important for them. Um, so one thing I wanted to bring up was um, carpentry with no nails, no screws, and no glue. Correct. And so the uh, Japanese have a building style uh, with no nails, no glue, and no screws. Wow. And uh, It's amazing. It's called... Um, Starts with an S here. Working no nails. It's called Sashimono. Sashimono. It, yeah. So, anyways, I just thought that was cool because it's a technique for assembling furniture, other wooden items without nails, using simply simple and highly complex joints. That's good. Um, which is which? It sounds like this is what this spiral staircase. Uh, was built with complex joints. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And and another thing that happened is that um, they brought in people to analyze the wood, and the wood is not local to the area. It was um, a type of, uh, it's called a Picea spruce. Um, the problem is that they have not been able to match that to any other Picea species on Earth. Okay, and the closest one to it is in Alaska. And, wow. you know, that might not be an issue for today, but back in the day, how are you going to transfer that over right. here? How are you going to transport that? So it's a big, big deal. And the spiral uh, case uh, staircase is very unique also in its building. It's, it's ahead of its time because it has two full 360-degree turns. Okay, so it's extremely interesting, and it and it has no central pivoting uh, point where it can hold the weight, and right. it's not attached to the walls, so they actually don't really know how it can take the weight of a person, you know, and you had mentioned that later on, for additional safety, they built um, the handrail, the handrails, right. okay. So that's even additional weight, yeah. you know? So they don't know how it... So anyway, the curator of the church brought in a physicist. Go ahead. I wonder why he didn't put handrails. I because it's, a, it's 22 feet you're going up. And the nuns, you had mentioned that the nuns used to have to crawl, crawl. up and down it. They actually were afraid, so they crawled. They, they knew it wasn't going to fall. They trusted that uh, structure, but they would crawl up. <laughs> And crawl down, do the choir, the singing, yeah. and, and crawl back down. Yeah, it's, why didn't he? So was it not complete? You know, I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. But if the viewers can because check a, and a let staircase. us know in the comments. Because a, stair, a staircase, usually, when uh, like going upstairs, has uh, rails. Correct. So that's yeah. interesting. That but we'll put a picture of how it originally was built. Yeah. Uh, so that uh, everybody can see it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, it's a it's a work of art. Now they have called a lot of master carpenters uh, after the fact, 
and they all believe that is a tremendous work of art. Yeah. And what's also mysterious is the person disappears, doesn't get credit for it. He doesn't get paid, he doesn't ask for money, he just takes off doesn't and disappears. Get, yeah, and so there, he doesn't have his name on, hey, I built that. No. Right? Usually you want no recognition. So the sisters for many, 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 many years believed that it was actually St. Joseph that came and actually built the staircase for them yeah. and then said, here it is, and went back to Answer, heaven. Answered their prayers. Answered their prayers, their novena. Now... Also, if you, you know, we looked it up a little bit, it said that there was a Frenchman that was an engineer architect that potentially could have been the one that built it, that was living in that near the area, but was killed. So, you know, he was killed. And so that was one of the theories is that it's a Frenchman. Right. But that's not proven. It's not. No, it's way up in the air. So it... It's a mystery any which way you cut it, you know? Yeah. And, you know, it, it, it's a beautiful thing and uh, for those believers, you know, like we are. And so it, it's, a, it's a very, very nice story. It makes a nice story, a mystery. And, you know, we're out of our league in many things. There's so many mysteries out there. You know, the other day I was reading about this. Uh, this is totally different, but it came to mind right now. This, uh, there's a fungi that grows apparently very strategically and very well in what's called mazes, you know. They labyrinth the maze. Labyrinth yeah. and mazes. And so um, it grows very well in, in, in that kind of atmosphere. And so um, this was picked up by some scientists and it, was, uh, it became knowledge for the, the Japanese. And uh, what the Japanese ended up doing was they ended up mimicking the subway of Japan. In, in, in they, they did an exact duplicate of it, and then they put strategically certain portions of food, okay? And then they put the fungi in there. And initially, okay, the fungi grew every which way for the, for, for the next 30, 40 days. But after 40 days, okay, they realized that the fungi was growing in the most adept, the best way possible to conserve energy but get to the food quickly. Wow. And so th they looked at how that fungi developed that position and then they revamped their entire, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, the cab, uh, the train system? Oh, the subway. The, the entire subway system of Japan was revamped and redeveloped based on this particular fungi effectiveness of growth. And um, it made it super effective. Wow. So, you know, there are so many mysteries out there. One is not, these are two completely different, but it goes to show you that there's so much out there that we don't know. Right. You know, there's so much to learn, Mike. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And... Um it, this story where he asked the carpenter to be left alone, it reminds me of the Coral Castle story. That's right. Where Ed built it by himself. He wanted to do it under the cover of night. And I asked, like, why? Why do they not want to share, potentially, how they build these things? Coral Castle for one person to build by himself. Can you and imagine? move it. Right? Yeah. I completely move it from Florida City to, no, I think it's in Florida City, but it was in a different town. Yeah, I, th I think it's like 15 miles away. Yeah, he's moving this huge fossilized huge. coral. Oh, it's incredible. I Lots. think that one of the ideas is, you know, there's so much to learn, okay? We, we, we really haven't, we're in diapers, okay? We need to learn much, much more. But um, if these folks did have some kind of extremely creative engineering that we don't have today. Yeah. And they start sharing this with everybody. Whatever project they're working on potentially won't get done because you're going to be flocked by hundreds of thousands of people trying to figure out uh, from every part of the world, trying to figure out what it is that 
you actually know how do you know it how did you learn it how is how efficient it is yeah um so whatever project you're working on is never going to get done coral castle wouldn't get done castle would not get done and neither would the uh yeah. the spiral uh, staircase yeah. in New Mexico because yeah it makes sense you know you wouldn't everybody would want to know the other side of it is by keeping a mystery behind it it creates more of an attraction people want to go see it right how did they do it like you were talking to a friend who actually went to the spiral staircase in New Mexico and he was explaining it to you and how he oh. was visiting the, ch the church and it, that it's an amazing feat and and you knew a lot about it because uh, you've researched it. I've read it before, a yeah. long time ago, but his name is Art and he was the motivation for this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was like, that's such a cool thing and it's right here in New Mexico. Yeah. I'm going to go. Yeah. I'm going. I want to see it. And in the United States, there's a lot of different places that we oh. haven't really, like Graham Hancock uh, in the Ancient Apocalypse brought up Serpent Mound in Ohio. Correct. Which I also want to go see that. I want to go there too. And these are uh, maybe native lands. Yes, and there's Chaco Canyon also, which is supposed to be remarkable. I um, don't know that one. Yeah, ancient civilization to build that. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. And here in the United States, it's not it there's all over the world. All over the world. But there's also a lot here. All over the world. Look, right now um it's not right now, but a few years back, not too long ago, a few years back, they found uh, uh the largest pyramid in the world. It actually exists in Bosnia. So, it's even larger. It's even bigger than the large pyramid of Egypt. Okay, the Pyramid of Khufu, it's it's big. Well, this particular pyramid is even larger than that one. And it was just discovered a few years back. Wow. Oh, it's amazing. And, you know, you get a lot of government. The Initially, they yeah, they're, they're, governments get involved and sometimes they don't allow permits to ex excavate or research. And I don't know why. Nobody yeah. really truly knows why but uh, well, another they slow one, it down yeah they get in the way for something. they get in the way like you, we met a, a family from uh, Indonesia and you were explaining about they're in uh, in that one island yeah Ganan Padang right which in, in the island of Java in Java yeah that is an amazing uh, that is probably one of the biggest discoveries I mean and the and apparently the government is not really allowing too much excavation there. Well, what happened it. was the original government allowed it uh, to one of the archaeologists that's there. That's uh, I forget his name right now, but he was he's very very good. And uh, Graham Hancock mentions mentions him a lot. Uh, and uh, and then the government there was a new president that came on board, and then the new guy said. Stop everything. Man. Okay? And actually stopped them. But this gentleman kept fighting, fighting, and fighting. And apparently now he's got the blessing to continue oh, to do wow. it. But they've gotten... The, the more they excavate, the older things get. And he's down to... Um, I, I believe that the last things, that the deepest thing that they have excavated is somewhere around... 30 to 40,000 years old. And this is um, somewhat of a pyramid type building that is immensely intricate. And if this was built 40,000 years ago or more, I mean. Who was building that? Oh, who yeah. was building that? And that's why I think um, people like Graham Hancock, Hancock, try to keep that conversation open even though he gets called crazy <laughs> or a pseudo scientist or pseudo whatever uh, he's trying to keep the conversation open that hey we maybe had gotten to a point civilization to a point where we were pretty advanced and we can do these things build these structures and then maybe we, something they got wiped out right whether it was a flood or a you know, catastrophic Asteroid. event, yeah. yeah, like the the dinosaurs that got wiped out. Yeah, 
by uh, asteroids, right? Right, right. So it's interesting. We veered off a little from the staircase, but we did. it's just another mystery of the many, many that it, we love. Many, many. And There's just so much out there. But, well, I mean, it's unbelievable, the kind of stuff that's out there that we don't yeah. have any answers to. And the more we dig in, the more questions we get, the yeah. less answers we have. Um, because we're trying sometimes to apply our understanding of things right. to something that potentially is completely different and maybe some kind of lost technology that we don't, um, we don't have, you know, the ability to comprehend it at right. this point in time. We need to do a little bit more growing up, <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun to uh, experience all these things. Oh yeah, cool. Well, thank you for sharing. All right, thank <laughs> you.